My name is Chris Comerford. I'm the White House Executive Chef. Okay. My main responsibility as the Executive Chef of the White House is taking care of the first family, foremost in all, just their daily meals. And of course, if do they have any social functions or state dinners or any kind of entertaining, we take care of everything in the kitchen. Definitely, it's high pressure because first and foremost, it's only for the president of the United <laughs> States. So, and also, like of course, the visiting countries and the visiting heads of state, because you want to respect their traditions, you want to respect their protocol, dietary restrictions. So, there's a lot of things to learn. We have harvested so much in that little garden, and in a span of like two and a half years, I mean, there's like like 300 at least pounds of produce that we have harvested throughout the years. These are actual Italian eggplant that came from the garden. Eggplant is such a wonderful staple. And then what I did earlier is just grill this until it's charred. And what it does, it really just, you know, it's easy to peel, but then at the same time, it gives it a wonderful flavor. I didn't know that I wanted to be a chef growing up. It's definitely not on my top list. I wanted to be a scientist. I went to the University of the Philippines. I took up food technology. But I think the more that I work with food, and I always have helped my mom cook for a family of 11. It's a huge family. So every day it's like a banquet in our house. But not thinking that that's really what I'm gearing up for. So when I was going to college, my dad actually asked me, like, why don't you go to Cordon Bleu? If you really make food yourself, you could control the taste, you could control the fat that's in there, you could control the salt, you could control the sugar, and at the end of the day, it's very rewarding because it's your own hand that made it. So be hands-on, work really hard, and then really listen to your parents because they really know you more than you think. So like, you know, what in my experience, like, you know, what my dad was saying, you know, at the time, I just laughed at him, but actually he was very, very right. So listen to your parents and then just really help out your mom and dad with cooking in the kitchen. So that's all.